passive as a strategy is very big uh, worldwide right and uh, in india it's still gaining momentum people are still uh, trying to it just to index funds and kind of just learning about them uh, i wanted to ask what would be a good strategy uh, would it be passives only actives or a mix of passive and active both in your portfolio okay i'll i'll ask the panel interesting question for sure uh, and you know i think we got these queries during the course of the year as well because a lot of fund houses have started now launching mutual funds which mirror the the index itself uh, the mid cap index or the small cap index so basically passives on even mid and small caps narin what's your take on this trend and what would your advice be if you look today at anything other than mid cap mm -hmm. you'll find that actually huge alpha has been created over the last one year three year even fire at this point of time in mid cap it's quite a different experience mid cap funds have done very badly against benchmarks so passive has done very well so you go through these phases if you had looked at 2018 end or 2019 passive had beaten active very very much in most of the large cap funds so you go through these cycles but at the same time you know on a continuing basis i think we have a tortoise in the form of passive and we have to recognize that and uh, having said that the there will be times the race in the but end. you should see today <laughs> the performance of yeah. actives against passives mm. in large cap you will find that most of the uh, no one talks about it today but most of the large cap funds and most of the flexi cap funds have done so well against uh, uh, the index over the last one year three or five year by a huge margin mm. when they underperform people kept talking about it yes. but today when they have outperformed no one is talking about it that is one of the regrets of an active manager like me not at all that's why we have you here because we want to hear from you and you know when you put out some of these uh, snippets i'm sure people will keep it in mind and go back and but truly in mid cap it's still at this point of time in mid cap uh, passives have beaten active hollow but in all other categories actually on the last 3 years and 5 years mm. actives have actually done pretty well okay i love this active passive debate it's an evergreen one and in at least in india it is going to continue to be a vibrant one for many years ahead right okay so uh, coming in, coming back to the classroom uh, narain let's get to your lecture uh, you are going to teach us a bit more about asset allocation today right yes okay so tell us how should we look at asset allocation why is it important and how should we go about uh, you know asset allocation as we get into this new year see 2007 8 9 was a red letter period you know mm -hmm. where uh, you know as uh, nilesh pointed out you know the number of investors in india and mutual fund is still very small so we felt that you know this uh, mutual fund industry saw itself as an equity mutual fund industry and we said that we have to move out of that and move into a situation where we created categories like balanced advantage and multi asset because if if the mutual fund industry was not a equity mutual fund industry actually gold gave very big returns in 2008 and consequently you know this whole thing we started popularizing categories like balanced advantage and later uh, when scheme categorization came categories like multi asset mm. because once we did that we got the real benefit actually in covid because in covid actually uh, equity did badly immediately but mm. asset classes like gold did well mm. and we have had a situation where this whole concept of uh, asset allocation where you invest in equity debt and gold mm. actually le leads you to a very good experience compared to just investing in equity and the problem that nilesh pointed out that investors are much more invested in other uh, other things and not in mutual fund can be corrected only in that way Mm. because the day you make it an equity mutual fund industry mm. you cannot make the industry as large look at the scale of uh, the all the other industries they have been much bigger mm. so that's what we felt and uh, the experience of 2018 to 22 as the data would show there are years in which equity has done well there are years in which yes. gold has done well yes. and then the investor experience is much better and then you can scale up the industry and today all of us mm -hmm. in the industry have launched multi asset funds mm -hmm. primarily because we have realized that that is one way of increasing the number of investors in the industry mm -hmm. and ensuring that the investor experience can also be much better over the next 3 years 5 years 10 years okay absolutely uh, and i guess as that data was showing it's very volatile these three asset classes and one does well the other is usually languishing so maybe a mixed approach works and it's also tax friendly right i mean uh, the multi asset yeah, funds that is the, that is Are less important than the fact that you know in a year like 2020 or a year like 2008 mm. 
it is gold which gives you the return yeah. and in other years it is equity which gives you the return mm. so it kinds of because finally at the end of the day the return that you get in other asset classes is low mm. but uh, this balancing influence actually moderates the investor experience mm. but gives an investor a much better experience